Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Got a unboxing here today for you guys or myself depending on if anyone actually watches this video or not. The package came from Outback Reptiles. I just got it, just signed for it. Um, I already have everything set up to just start doing the unboxing. I'll probably just kind of skip through the opening and getting them out of the packages and letting them soak and then kind of talk about it a little bit just so we can start that process. But these were uh, unopened bags of African import captive hatched ball pythons. And I've, I've got, you see the tubs here. I have two of them actually, since I'm going to split the, the groups. And uh, they're just about maybe two inches of water in there. Neutral temperature, but slightly on the warmer side. And I used this Repta Safe water conditioner. I actually use this all the time. I use this for my frogs and my reptiles, my snakes. And I even used it. I use these. This is the water condition I use for my uh, fish tanks and the betas. It's designed for reptiles. It conditions the water the same way that the regular water conditioners do. Uh, this one it just has the added benefit of adding some nutrients and calcium to the water. So I thought that's pretty helpful. And I've been using it for the reptiles, but I use it for the fish too. It never hurts, I guess, to add a little bit extra calcium or nutrients into your water. And that's the one I've been using I mean, for the last you know, two years, three years that I've been keeping and breeding the betas. Took that over from the uh, reptiles and decided just to go with that. So we'll just, um, I'll talk about them in a minute, but let's just get the uh, box open and get them in. What you want to do is since they've been packaged here and made a long trip, kind of want to let them soak in that water. So it's been conditioned, it's not full to the top because I don't want them to uh, drown or anything. And we will just get them in and then talk about them some more. There's the box Outback Reptiles, okay? The camera's gonna be a little off, guys, because. Uh, my cameraman's at school, and I'm by myself here today, so I don't have anyone else to assist me. But here they are. And, man, one of the reasons why I completely hate doing unboxing videos, and I almost never do them, is because I feel like I have to be super prepped to do these things because I never get the box open easy or the packages open easily. It's always like a struggle for me for some reason. These things always defeat me. I know that actually wasn't too bad this time. So I'm going to fight the temptation to really look at them right this second. Because I'm just going to get them in to soak up and then we'll, we'll do the other stuff. Alright. And this one's in shed already. You can see. So that'd be pretty cool. As soon as they shed, I'll give them a few days and after they shed... We'll um, try feeding them and everything. This is four of them right here. One has already started to shed completely. You see it? It's coming off a little bit there. That's five in there. This one may have already shed, but we'll let them soak in there. And this one is number 10 for this for this bag here. And most of them, I guess they're probably dehydrated, a little dried out, because you can see the shedding isn't the best on them. And what you want to do is when, if you get these guys in, you decide to roll the dice, you want to get them in and just get them soaked. I'll show you in a minute, but they're pretty much all just right away, they're just drinking water. They're just sitting in there soaking up, drinking that water. And like I said, this is, we'll go through it. You're obviously going to have to wait for them to shed to really look through them to see what you've got, if you've got anything cool.
and that one. Oh, this is a tiny one. Look how small that one is. That one's tiny. But it's actually really dark. Oh, that one looks like those giants. Even though you might not get anything new per se as a morph wise, you'll get some cool normals to work around with. Um, you'll get to kind of select what you want to work with. I know a lot of things that have been, um, I feel like something that's behind a little bit in the reptile keeping as a whole, but mostly ball pythons is um, line breeding. You see bearded dragons and crested geckos and even blue tongue skinks. There's a lot of good line breeding going on where people are breeding specifically for certain um, genes or genetics that they like or certain color phases that they like and nothing mutation wise this is just strict line breeding and they're going ahead and doing that and that's for some reason that's something that you know ball pythons and ball python breeders haven't really gotten around to I feel like they're um you know you're trying to get a bright colored snake and you're just breeding one snake to any other snake that you get it's like like you know you get a nice pastel and instead of trying to keep that nice pastel with maybe some bright orange or bright colored snakes they're just grabbing whatever normals they can find and breeding that to that and you know some of them are dark some of them banded heavily patterned you know browned out whatever the case may be which is i don't think that's the best way to do it so hopefully at some point we'll start line breeding things so it's always cool to get these imports you know, kind of select the normals that you like the best to hold back. You're also, in this, you know, you're getting, you might not be getting new morphs, but you're getting fresh, fresh genes and fresh genetics because these are captive hatched from wild adults. They don't have, um, they're unrelated to anything that's in captivity right now. So it's just fresh blood to get to work with, to work into your genetics. And you never, you know, keep the bloodline stronger. I know a lot of people, it's kind of like when you inbreed too much, you want to outcross some of these things. So I feel like that's where, um, that can go with these guys even though you may not get something you know crazy you're still getting fresh bloodlines in and so i'm gonna keep sorting through that i'm gonna put the rest of these in i'll let them soak for 15 to 20 minutes and then i'll be back and uh we'll try to i guess look through some of them and see if we see anything super cool okay guys Okay, so got them out right there. They've been soaking for a few minutes. They were pretty much just drinking water at first and staying in little balls, but I guess now they're kind of getting their full as they're uh, or their fill as they're starting to all move around. So some of them you see are in shed. Some of them have actually already shed. But one of the cool things or one of the ways that you can kind of spot some things is kind of like. Keeping them in the group here and looking through it because you can kind of see stuff that'll you know, stick out at you a little bit and help you go that way. Like, for instance, there is, I guess we'll take an example. This one here is kind of sticking out of the little bunch there for a second just because, you know, he's got, or she, whichever one it is, it's got like a the partial stripe. But then it's also got the the rest of its back. See, it's got those uh, they're pretty bright compared to some of the other snakes. But little gold spots coming down its back. And then you know, this one kind of sticks out from them. And not that it's anything crazy, but just that it's one of the few that's more of a subdued or banded pattern and it's also more of an orange color you can't really tell in the cameras cameras you know these cameras are never 
get the best color. You can see this one has more of an orange color than the others. This kind of looks more like a bandit type. As opposed to some of the other ones that have more stuff going on them, their bodies. But and, and the same thing on this side. See this one kinda has this one kinda has like the same burnt orange color and the semi-reduced patterning, although it has a lot of granite in it. See that that's a lot of granite in that one. And then Oh, this one here is really busy. This one right here is a super busy pattern. If I can get it out. Look at that one. This really dark body. And it's really more busy pattern compared to the others. Look at that. Yeah, so I mean you're not going to really be able to sort through most of these. It's going to be a few days just because I mean, so many of them are in shed. This one, this might be the same one I had before, just sticks out compared to the others. I wish my super busy, oh, this one. Yeah, super busy pattern, just completely sticks out. Look at that. Compared to the other ones, the way it just, that one's pattern is pretty cool. Oh. All right, so I'll uh, so I'll let them continue to soak just for a few more minutes. I'm gonna put them all. Stop that! Stop that, Dean. I'm gonna put them all. I've got a few of these set up, so I can split them up in these. Um, but together as a group, just for now, and in a few days, so I can keep that a little bit more moist. And in a few days, once everyone is pretty much shed, I'll um. <clears throat> Separate them so I can start trying to offer them some food. And if I, as I'm going through them, if I see anything really that I want to highlight, I'll uh, I'll bring it back out and show it. All right. Well, this is some of the guys, and a lot of them are starting to shed. And here's Tiny. Okay. Tiny, because he's a little darker than everyone else. That's how small his head is. And um, there's the rest of the guys. Here. Now there's just a few that I could highlight here. This, this is one of them. Look at that. <coughs> Just the back is completely blushed out. Let's see what the blush. Dean. So that's that one. And here's the other one. Look at that one. Yeah, 
those two guys. Some, I mean, I can just pick them out from the crowd every single time. And Tiny as well, but Tiny is for different reasons because he's small. Let's see who else we got here. Yeah. Little dark one. <clears throat> yeah, look at that guy. Just look at and this one, look how red, well, look how orange and red this one is. Say, look at that. <laughs> this one. And this one here is, keeps looking weird. I'm just waiting for this one to shed to see what it looks like. That's another dark one. This dark one. All right, try to have some pictures hopefully up in this video. Let's see how my editing can go.